So recently I watched a video by Vicky over at T God Designs where she filled 3D prints with sand. And it got me thinking, what else can I put in 3D prints? And I thought, why not make an egg shaker? This is one I bought. Now, you could go to the store and buy an egg shaker for like $3, or you could 3D print your own. Now, I didn't end up printing an egg shaker as much as I ended up printing a cylinder shaker. First, I modeled a hollow cylinder, and then when it was printing, I tried to fill it with rice by pausing it. This proved more difficult than not. I'm still not sure how to move the head when it is paused and not mess up the print. I managed to get it mostly in there though. Unfortunately, pausing causes the layer to skip some and I ended up with a hole, but overall it worked. In comparison, this wasn't quite what I wanted yet. Next, I decided thinner walls, more rice. This time proved more successful. So don't do any of that. Here's what you should do. One, realize there's free egg models online that you can just borrow so you don't have to model your own. Next, if you want something to be hollow, you don't necessarily need to model it to be hollow. That's what the slicers are for. It ends up, you can just set your infill to zero and then set the wall thickness and be more, it's hollow, what? Also realize that there's a pause add-on in Cura that will literally pause your print at a certain height and then move the nozzle out of the way. And that way you don't have to look like an idiot trying to get rice in something. It's literally right there, Claire. How did you not notice this? With all these steps, I can't tell you how much better this turned out. Now, I did run into a slight problem. That was 100% my fault. Even though the print isn't that long, I started it and then went to bed and came back the next morning. And the filament that had been in the nozzle all night got a little bit toasted, as you can see, on this line here. And after about five minutes, it broke because it was so brittle. So I reprinted the whole thing and now it's, it's fine. But here's my pre-printed one. Look at it. It's so much better. It's so much egg eggier. It sounds a lot better. It sounds more like my original egg shaker that I bought from the store. Moral of the story, iterating your ideas is really important and I'm sure in two weeks I'll have a better egg shaker.